Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new fun filled Stardew Valley modding related video. So today we are swapping it up and we are focusing on some of the best animal mods that you can install into your game. These are going to be covering things like livestock, cats, dogs and all in between. I've been very excited to make this video I'm not going to lie because I love the animals but you can make them so much cuter or more particularly directed to your style. Before we get into the video if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do make a lot of Stardew Valley modding related content over here on the channel so if that is your thing then make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay for a long time but anyway quickly as I always say our quick disclaimer for the video as always all of these mods are downloadable through Nexus mods our lord and savior again most of them will require you to have other mods installed prior to have these mods work and it will have all of that information listed in the mod and as always all of these will be in the description below listed in the order that we go through them so we're going to start off we've got four different categories to go through today so we have our livestock so this is pretty much everything that you can get in the game. This goes from cows, sheep, to all of your chickens and ducks, rabbits, dinos, all that sort of stuff. And then our next category is our cat. So this is just like our cat that we can get or anything else relating to cats. And then we have our dogs category. Again, anything that just changes the retexture of the dog itself. And then our last category we have is the new animals one. Most of these mods will replace an animal within your game, but it is still a new animal to bring in a fun new experience into your Stardew Valley game. But enough about that, let's get on into our livestock category. Starting us off first, we have the K's Animal Replaces mod. So this one just gives a complete and utter new retexture and look to your cows, goats, sheep, and pigs. Additionally, it gives them a few different kind of options to go with like a solid color, some spots. You've got like lines or saddles, all that sort of stuff. Different essentially looks for the animals themselves. This is really cool and a very smaller like additional customization to just an already nice looking mod. Coming in next, this is going to be a long list of the same sort of mod but they all deserve a feature so this is part one of this we have the cuter fatter cows this is a sort of harvest moon style inspired mod and it's simple it gives you very very cute very very fat looking cows i never played harvest moon i know i'm ready to be roasted but i love the look of these guys i love how they look in the different colors and i think you should just get them all together because collectively they all are just so cute piggybacking onto that one we have the cuter fatter sheep mod i don't really know how else to explain these all it's just cute he's a fat he's a sheep i love how it looks it just yeah a super cute super fluffy and everything and definitely i think just install all of these again piggybacking onto that we have cuter fatter pigs I'm sorry, but the little snout on the pig. I, like many others, agree that the uh, pigs in the base game of Sarge Valley are just kind of not the vibe. But here we can have the cutest, chonkiest, and roundest piggers that we can have in our game. Next up, we have the cuter, fatter goats. I love how they look. Like, this is just such a different take on the goats in a sense. Makes them look less weird, but of course, cuter and fatter. And they look super fluffy as well. I'm obsessed with them. Next up for these mods, we have the cuter, fatter dinos mod. Gives you a small cute fat little dino into your game and again I think just fits in really well with all of the cuter fatter mods and then our last cuter fatter mod we have cuter fatter buns it just gives you this very cute very adorable absolute unit of a bunny that you can have into your game I'm obsessed with how these look that's like all of the cuter fatter mods for all of them I think they all look so cute they're definitely something I think you should be pairing together if you're wanting to go for that sort of vibe but I just love how they look they're so cute coming in next we have the fluffy cows mod. So this is a reskin that essentially turns the cows and calves into fluffy versions of them. I love how they look. I just want to pat them. They're so cute and so fluffy and so it just goes with the base style vibe to go with it but I, I think it's just an awesome mod. I want fluffy cows. Coming in next this is actually the mod that I choose to run. We have Elle's new barn animals mod. So it gives you several different skins for each barn animal to choose from. Essentially there is 22 skins for brown and white cows, 18 skins for goats, 14 skins for sheep and 18 skins for pig and these include deer and alpacas. It does also replace the icons in Marnie's shop. I love the different kind of options you can get for them and just I think they're so cute. I'm truly obsessed with this one. It is one of my favorite mods because it does still give that sort of like base game vibe to it but it does add them in a little bit cuter and a little less intense than the base game ones. Additionally on top of that one we have the L's new coop animals mod. Again with this one it just gives you several different skins for each coop animal to choose from with 
22 skins for all the chicken types, 7 skins for ducks, 26 different skins for rabbits, and 6 skins for the dinosaurs. It does also replace all of the icons in Marnie's shop, and of course gives you a couple of different options for all of the animals. I love it, like, I, I have this mod for a reason, it's one of my favourite mods. It's like, I like the cute style of like the cuter fatter stuff, but I really just didn't want something so in my face, especially when all of my mods I try to tie in with each other, and I feel that this one is just so universal and works with so many different mods. Coming in next, kind of from my fairy core besties, we've got the Aesthetic Chickens mod. So this mod essentially turns your vanilla chickens into cute blue and pink versions. It's very cute. Again, I think that this is like the perfect chicken mod for a fairy core vibe or like a pastel super girly in a sense. I think it is such a cute color and shade of these particular colors and I think that it works well, especially for going for that vibe. Next up, we're almost at the end of our livestock category. We have Vix cows. So this one does replace the dairy cows with a new texture and it gives them a bit more of a realistic vibe but still make sure that they're very cute. I love how this looks, makes them look super super fluffy as well but I do like the more realistic take on the cows in the game. Again would pair well with a lot of other realistic mods if you're going for that sort of vibe and I think it is a super neat mod. And lastly for this one we have the rabbits mod. This one essentially just adds in brand new rabbit sprites. There is only currently three different color variants but regardless I think that they look so cute. There's brown, gray and light and I love how they look. I love the different sprites that they have for the rabbits. That is it for our livestock category. Let's head on into our cats category. The cats and dogs only have a few in them, but still some ones that I think need to be shared. So first off, we have the Berman cat mod. So this essentially just changes the cat that you can get in game to a Berman version. Just to cover all of these, I think there is such a lack of options with the cat and dog for the base game. And I really love that people are making these sorts of mods so that we can have different kind of cats or dogs. I truly, truly love it. And I love Berman cats and I think this mod works so well. Next up, we have the Tuxedo Cat mod. I love Tuxedo Cats. I love Black Cats and the little like white patches on them. So I think this is a really neat mod. And especially if you're a Tuxedo Cat lover as well, this one fits right on in. Up next, we have the Tortoise Shell Cat mod. Again, this is just another recolor that changes your cat into a Tortoise Shell Cat with these awesome colorings to them. I think that the mod turned out so well and the coloring and everything on it looks so cute. And if I really want to install this one now, I'm not going to lie. It's very tempting. Up next, we have a fun mod. This is the Kitty Cats mod. So this is not really a retexture or recolor of any cats. This one is just a really fun one that adds several cute kitty cats to Stardew Valley. You can just walk around the entire town and you will see cats everywhere. I love it, especially for a bit of a cat lover like me. I think it's a very cool take on having some more cats. And our last cat mod, we have the Facetious Gerbils Cat Breed mod. This is again just a reskin of the cats to give you this really cute fluffy cat. I love how it looks. Again, love the coloring and something fun to change that cat skin in your game. Coming in next, we have the dogs mods. And to start us off, we have Bones Pet Dogs. This includes Shiba Inu, German Shepherd, and Husky mods. So this replaces your vanilla dog breeds with, as I said, a Shiba Inu, German Shepherd, and Husky. You can change and pick which sort of dog that you want. And I think that these all look cute. I'm like, while I probably won't ever have a big dog, I've grown up with big dogs and I love the look of them. And I love these kinds of dogs. I think that it is such a fun addition to have these different kind of breeds in your game. Next up, we have the Tan Dog mod. This is kind of just like a Labrador dog, but the primary use of this one is to adjust the coloration of the vanilla dog to make it less saturated. And the result is this dog whose coat appears more natural. I do like this sort of take on it, sort of changing the coloring of the game. And this works out super well if you're going for that sort of muted vibe to your game and you want to have the dog in it, but you don't really want to have a different kind of dog. I think this is one to really just it's only small, but it really helps with the overall recoloring for the game. Next up, we have the Beagles mod. So if you're a fan of Beagles, then this is the mod for you. Of course, it just changes the dog to a Beagle version of the dog, but I love how this one looks. It is very, very cool. And if you're a Beagle level, then I think you should get this one. Next up, we have, I'm probably going to butcher this, I'm very sorry, but Bing Meow's Big Sean mod. If you have seen these dogs, they are cute, small, white, fluffy. I love the look of these and I love the different kinds. You get this like pink, one with the like girly little flower and stuff or you can get just a blue one with a star or this cool looking dog over here some shades and all I love these kind of dogs they are so cute and so fluffy and I think that it is an awesome awesome kind of dog to have in your game and our last one I have actually covered this one on a short before but we have the Saju Valley Chow mod Chows are just this like super cute super fluffy big face dog it is a super cute mod I think it just like resembles the Chow dog perfectly even down to the tail and everything so 
very, very cool mod, especially if you like the chow dogs. We are onto our last category. This is our new animals mods. But the first one for this category is our spooky, scary creatures. So this is a really cool one that changes the wild animals that you see in the game to the spooky, scary, and monstery versions of them. For instance, the cute little rabbits that you see run around are now poisonous snakes. The frogs that you see within the game are now spiders. Butterflies? No, you can get flying eyeballs instead. Or additionally, bats depending on the season. Birds are now ghosts. Squirrels are now fire squirrels that you can catch. And in the evening, you might even see an eagle by your farm. I love this take to sort of give a spooky vibe, but I love that it takes the wild animals that you see in the game. So it's not really affecting any of the animals that you'll need to like make money in a sense. I love it. It's such a cute, like spooky Halloween-y mod. And I love how this all looks. Coming up next, we have the squirrels mod. So this mod adds in squirrels as a new farm animal entries along with a few new recolors. And the squirrels tend to hunt out hazelnuts daily. And if really happy, they can even bring you some special seeds. I love the idea of an additional animal in the game, especially one that can get a different kind of like material for you. Obviously all of our animals do something and I think that it's cool that we can have something do another thing for us. Up next we have the frogs mod. So this essentially adds in frogs as a brand new coop animal. Additionally, frogs will occasionally bring you small minerals throughout their days. And there are six varieties of different frogs. You've got a green frog, pale frog, poison dart frog, tree frog, golden poison frog, and fire bellied toad. I think frogs are super cool and I love that they can also hunt materials and minerals for you. I think it's just so neat. Up next, we have the bulls mod. So this one just adds in bulls as a brand new farm animal and they will produce manure for you. You can use this to produce several different fertilizers throughout the new machines. So this one does add in new machines, which is a manure grinder and a fertilizer mixer. I think this this is cool that it brings in some more stuff so you have a new kind of feature to the game. I know you can make like fertilizer through saps and stuff but I do really like that this is a sort of I don't know more realistic way to it. They can do all of the hard work for us. Up next we have Trent's new raccoons. So this adds in five different types of raccoons into your game as farm animals. So you will have a brown raccoon, blonde raccoon, chubby, gray and tropical raccoon and they will be each from one different area. So they will essentially go out and bring back their loot from the last night exploration every day, and they may additionally find NPCs items. This is super cute. They can kind of just go out and do your bidding. I think they're just, I love a little trash panda. I do really like the gameplay element to this mod as well. Up next, we have Kitsusune's Dodos. So this adds in Dodos as a coop animal to your game. It doesn't say anything about if they contribute like finding stuff or laying stuff, all that sort of stuff, but I don't even care. I love a good Dodo. There's so cute. I love the two different colors that you can get for them. And if you don't name them Wilbur and Orville, then you are having a wasted opportunity. Up next, we're almost at the end, but we have this alpacas mod. So this adds in alpacas as a brand new farm animal and adds in alpaca wool and alpaca yarn as new products. Alpacas, again, are super cute kind of animals and I love the fact that we can have them in our game. And this version of them looks super, super cute. I'm obsessed. Up next, we have the donkeys mod. Again, this just adds a donkey in as a brand new farm animal and also adds in donkey milk and face cream made out of donkey milk. You will need a deluxe barn for this one. And to make the face cream, you just have to put the milk in the oil maker. Again, I love that these mods don't only just bring you new animals, but they bring you kind of a new gameplay element too. Such creativity. Up next, we have a fun little cute one, but we have the hamsters one. So this just adds in hamster sprites for the rabbits and dinosaurs. So the rabbits are one color and the dinosaurs a different color. I don't know, hamsters are cute. They're dumb little guys, but I love them and I think it's cute we can have them in our game. And our last mod that we have for this one is a very fun one. We have Toto's Lazy Pet Capybara. Whenever I was looking at this mod, all I had was the TikTok Capybara song stuck in my head, so I'm sorry that it's now stuck in your head too. This mod changes your pet cat or dog into a lazy capybara. You can choose the capy to be either brown, golden, or pink. Especially with the rise of love for capybaras, I love that we got a mod featuring them. Additionally, I like that they replace your cat or dog. I wouldn't have wanted them to be a farm or coop animal, like I can't even imagine that. And I love that they can be a little guy. They can obviously go into bed with you and everything, and I just them lounging around the farm is just the perfect way to to celebrate them. That is it for all of our best animal mods to share with you guys today. As always, I've left all of the mods in the description below in the order that we have described them in the video. So if you do want to check them out, make sure to go and click those links. Also, if there's any modding related content that you would like to see on the channel, please make sure to leave a comment below so that I can check it out. I love making modding related content and sharing all of these incredible artists and showcasing them. And so I'd love to see what sort of ones you would like to see next. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But on that note, I'll catch all of you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.